Netball New Zealand say they will appoint a head coach from overseas if they are the best fit for the Silver Ferns. Netball NZ CEO Jenny Willy Photo, Photosport Limited 2016 www.photosport.nz It's been seven days since Netball New Zealand Chief Executive Jenny Willy and panelist Don McKinnon dropped two edited videos on YouTube revealing the highly anticipated review findings. 40 seconds into Willie's clip it was announced that Netball NZ had accepted the resignation of former Silver Ferns head coach Janine Southby, and while the lack of surprise or disappointment showed exactly where the organization stood on the matter said the priority is to replace her. The position has never been advertised publicly but Willie guarantees that no one was shoulder-tapped prior to Southby's resignation with those qualified welcomed whether they have gone through the Netball NZ coaching process or not. We were advised on Friday morning of Janine's resignation and at the time, we were working on our findings, and we determined we were able to release them at a similar time, says Willie. We are actively looking for a head coach and we have strong candidates out there, it might mean that we need to have a caretaker until such time as we can approach the right person, as well as Southby's resignation, assistant coach Yvette McCausland Dury's contract ended at the conclusion of the Commonwealth Games. In an interview at last weekend's Super Sunday in Auckland, the Central Pulse head coach said Southby's resignation was a surprise to her and she hasn't reapplied. There are seven weeks to go before New Zealand hosts the netball quad series against Australia, England and South Africa and still no Silver Ferns coaching structure or caretaker in sight. Despite the ruling around international eligibility for players, desperation may prevail with Willie open to the possibility of appointing an offshore coach. We are going to look at the best candidates and are also mindful of time frames and the urgency to get the role filled, says Willie. Results are really important and well as experience and the ability to connect with the playing group so there are a number of criteria that we look at. The ANZ Premiership Grand Final in Palmerston North will take place on August 12th with the Silver Ferns squad to compete in September expected to be announced two days after. RNZ